Can we all stand on our feet? Praise God. All right. Please do remember that Apostle will be back here tomorrow morning at our 10 o'clock Sunday service as we round up the Excel conference. I want you to come, come and receive the grand finale. Amen. My father used to tell us an adage in those days. He says that when my mother cooks, he says the bottom part of the pot is always the best because all the ingredients settle at the bottom. And you all know that no matter what will happen today, tomorrow is going to be the bottom pot. And all the ingredients are going to be settled tomorrow morning by, 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 by the pot. Amen. So make sure that you are here. Amen. Invite somebody. Invite everyone you know. Tonight, we'll have the privilege of having God's general, God's servant. A man that is so unusually humble. Uh, the more I spend time with him, the more I fall in love with him. My wife and I have just found a covenant brother, a friend, and, and I know he shares the same love because he expresses it to me and my wife. How, how much he, he holds us in his heart. And so tonight, House of Treasures, South Africa, and the rest of the world, please one more time, let's give a good God bless you to Apostle Joshua Selman, all the way from Kaduna, Nigeria. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Apostle, thank you again. Thank you and your dear wife. I salute everyone. Please hold your hands. Let's pray. Lift your voice and ask the Lord to give you a mighty visitation tonight. Is someone praying? Babu sala branda gatuzi ata praha sara balatuzi ata kita. All I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Here's the part that ministers to me. Feel my life till all they see is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Feel my life till all. Believed high, believed high for your glory. Believed high, believed high, believed high for your glory. Spirit of the living God, 
move us to unusual realms of influence move us to unusual realms of power may we experience the Christ in a mighty way tonight in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord thank you thank you just before we sit Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Colossae chapter 1 and verse 9 Colossians and he was defining the boundaries of growth for a believer and Paul was praying and he asked the Lord that he would bring to the church three dimensions um, of spiritual realities he said that they be filled number one with the knowledge of his will number two they be filled with all wisdom because wisdom is dimensional that all of the dimensions of wisdom be captured in their Christian experience and then number three that they be filled with spiritual understanding Ephesians 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened then he says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them that the ignorance of a man can rob you of the experience of the kingdom I told us yesterday if you remember that the kingdom is not only to be believed you can taste and see that the Lord is good it is not only to believe he is good there is an experience to the dealings of God hallelujah thank you Jesus please be seated we have a long journey tonight I promise to be a good pilot in the name of Jesus amen let's start with a very serious scripture this night if Ecclesiastes chapter 9 we're still dealing with matters that make for influence and relevance in the kingdom Ecclesiastes chapter 9 I pray in the name of Jesus that God will open our eyes Ecclesiastes chapter 9 we'll start from verse 13 it's a very interesting story please look up this wisdom have I seen under the Sun and it seemed great to me there was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and he beside it and built great bulwarks against it sin too now there was found a poor wise man look at this kind of description a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered the city yet no man remembered the same poor man and here is the morale of the story 16 then I said wisdom is better than strength truly because he's just delivered a city nevertheless a poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard that a man by his wisdom delivered a city yet because he lacked the tools that make for influence his voice was shut down listen to me if you pay attention tonight in the name of Jesus to the things that I'll be sharing with you believe me the Lord will by these tools step us to higher realms and higher dimensions of influence and kingdom relevance there is there is a synergy to our growth in the kingdom please look up our growth in this kingdom is not haphazard and it is not all up to God are we together now you can decide that I want to rise from one dimension to another and the Bible says that grace and peace is multiplied to the saints through knowledge that means when knowledge comes and not just random knowledge you see uh, let me observe something quickly apostle do you know that the challenge with many believers in Africa and across the world is not ignorance I do not believe the church is in ignorance 
there never has been a time in the church age where there is such a manifestation of spiritual truth from church to church you go online and there are all kinds of messages attempting to communicate different dimensions of kingdom reality so i do not believe that the church is necessarily in ignorance but i believe that the truths have not been sequentially arranged to provide the victory you see that so we do not know what truth is responsible for what outcome so we randomly apply truths in hope that one of them will work and the danger is that it will work but there is no mastery you see that because the principles were randomly applied so when you are challenged you engage the blood of jesus the name of jesus holy ghost fire somewhere in the equation something will work now the danger is you cannot mentor a people with that kind of randomness there needs to be exactitude to our spiritual understanding let me show you a scripture luke chapter one luke chapter one for as much as many have set in hand please look up to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us they are not things that are casually believed they are most surely believed conviction next verse even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word verse 3 now look at this it seemed good to me dr luke is writing now haven't had what please talk to me haven't had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write thee in order most excellent theophilus why verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed I'm working on your conviction he says I do not want you to believe just because you think I believe it I want to bring you to a point where you know that you can have perfect understanding let me say this our knowledge of God and our encounter with him we will continue to grow in the knowledge of God even in heaven are we together but as far as your victory in the cosmos is concerned the truths that are responsible for your influence and your lifting are finite you can hold them please understand this the idea that the truths that make for the victory of the saints are so vast is in itself an error the truths that makes for our victory and enthrone the christ within our domain are finite like a student goes to school goes to college you can graduate and keep learning but the body of knowledge that makes for the degree you can have it and exhaust it and be awarded that degree Are we together now something plus something plus something plus something equals your victory in this life you, it's not a, it's not an equation that is endless the name given to the body of light that makes the saints outstanding is called marvelous light it is on the strength of this body of knowledge that we are called a chosen generation he calls us a royal priesthood a peculiar people what is our advantage access to marvelous light not just light he made two great lights the bible says one to rule in the day the other to rule in the night if you possess only the light that rules in the day you'll be in trouble in the night you must sustain the light that can make you in dominion both in the day and the night hallelujah praise the lord so conferences like this unveil exact kingdom principles listen to me the things i share with you are not my opinion they are not they are not the product of a research that is, is, is some hypothesis being tested no these truths are backed up by the integrity and the jealousy of god please understand this The power of God has been invested upon these truths and these principles. If applied and applied diligently, will turn anyone into a wonder. The truths are like a protocol. If you walk them, they will escort you to realms that veto your background, to realms that veto your limitations. 
so please i want you to believe and be prepared to don't just sit wondering okay let's hear i hope that i will get one or two things no these are principles um that are very powerful the bible says that when we pray we should pray that heaven is reproduced in our environment it says that the kingdom should come by thy will the word will there is is the same root word with the word logos the thoughts of a man that seeks expression that's where we get the word of god the logos the intention of the father that seeks to be expressed through the saints are we blessed so i want to share with us a few things let's talk about the marketplace there is such a concept like the marketplace now you, you, you don't think I'm talking about business at all the marketplace is a name that attempts to capture the system of exchange on earth the marketplace has nothing necessarily to do with business it is a strategy that allows men to exchange possibilities for other possibilities are we together now that it is the place of exchange when you sow and you reap you exchange your seed for a harvest are we together now so listen it the, the, the spiritual the, the economic barter system was a, a download of a strategy that is ancient and works in the realm of the spirit exchange Jesus himself used that law on the cross the Bible lets us know that it was through this mystery of exchange that he became sin it is even through the mystery of the exchange that we become the righteousness of God in Christ please understand we're dealing with something serious here the ability to exchange what you have for what you do not have hmm. so I can bring my weakness and exchange it for strength I can bring my ignorance and exchange it for knowledge are we together this is very very important Jesus born the sinless lamb of god when he walked upon the earth for 33 and a half years he was flawless in every way and then the bible tells us that one time he needed to become sin and he needed to apply this law of exchange and the system for that exchange started theologically speaking in what we call the communion right he's sitting with the disciples and he picks bread that he said he was the living bread so he was carrying himself and he broke himself into several dimensions and shared it across the body of Christ the number 12 is a number for government he was not just giving 12 disciples it was a mystery are we together now because the government represent people is that not true so he was that was the human race prophetically captured in 12 people Jesus was breaking himself giving them different dimensions of him and by that exchange now on legal basis he could become sin because he said if you eat my flesh and you drink my blood you can partake of my life and that means I can also partake of yours it's an exchange in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration is the system that makes two entities become one is the same thing that happens in marriage when the Bible says two become one it doesn't mean they enter into themselves no it means that spiritually there is authorization to share are we together is the same principle that is used in impartation when you are a partaker of a man's grace that door that gate is open so that there is a sharing together hmm. hallelujah and that this cosmos operates by that law nothing really goes for nothing now listen very carefully that your relevance will be based on your understanding this principle of exchange 
it's just that business people have been the most outspoken people to operate that law but it was not meant for business it's a system it's one of the wisdom keys for operating in the cosmos i can exchange something i have for something i do not have amazing revelation that means i do not need to cry for what i don't have there is a principle already built in this system are we together now the yesterday's version of me can have something and i can exchange it for what tomorrow's version requires so whatever is not in my life now i don't need to be afraid because there is provision for growth are we blessed i needed to establish this so that we can discuss what i really want to talk about this night i'm just praying that god will help me so that i can work this thing well so the marketplace is a place of exchange and is a place of rewards please take note of these words we're going to deal with them exchange and rewards exchange and rewards the marketplace are we together we trust your wisdom and we thank you for helping us are you ready tonight Luke chapter 16 we'll read verse 11 and then later on we'll start from the beginning Luke chapter 16 and verse 11 blessed be the name of the Lord let's read if you're a Christian ready one to read you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon uh-huh who will commit to your trust the now jesus is using an interesting concept he calls it true riches that unfaithful mammon is talking about money why is it unfaithful because he can be disloyal to people anytime he's here today and not there tomorrow you have more of it today and tomorrow it tries to go down so he says that attitude is the attitude of unfaithfulness he calls it unfaithful mammon that if you are not faithful in the unrighteous mammon who will commit to you what true riches now watch this the name this thing called true riches is what we want to deal with tonight. I want to show you a powerful secret. Three people, please, come. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't, don't, don't just run. Please, let's, maybe protocol, help me coordinate them. If not, we'll have some chaos here. Just three gentlemen. gentlemen. Okay, well, you come. Please stand here. Everybody watch this. Thank you. Um... Please give me this bottle of water anyone thank you now watch this everybody call this a product this is a product is that true hold this please lift it up this is a hundred a hundred dollar bill please lift it up now watch this in business every business person and all over South Africa look up please you know and you have been taught if you want this product this is the name given to the capital that buys it is that true that means if i give you a hundred dollar bill or if you have a hundred dollar bill you are happy because it sustains the ability to purchase this product in this case a bottle of water are we together now i want to introduce you to the capital that buys money when you want this what do you bring I know that I want this so this is what I use to buy this but if this is what I want what do I use to buy it? because this is also a product and there is a capital that buys that product the name of that capital is true riches the capital that buys money I 
I want to build a house. <laughs> Are we together? I want to buy clothes. I want to live a comfortable life. I want to sow into church. But I have the product. But I do not have the capital. So I will need this. The moment you give me this, I begin to rejoice. Because it's the guarantee that I can have this. I don't fear this when I have this. What must I have to not fear this? I mean, you went to school. This is, this is, this is. Are we together? Listen, my brothers and sisters, tonight's teaching will save you decades of frustration and shadow boxing. I told you there is, there is exactitude to spiritual operations. Hmm. The capital that buys money. Now, let me tell you this. Do you know, I, I hope you are not offended that I'm bringing out money. Please. It's not, I'm just, for some reason, this teaching requires it and, and it looks like when we bring it out, there will be understanding. Are we together? There are people who will not get this thing at all until we just bring a token that, that wakes them up. Praise God. Now, watch this. Please listen to me. For as long as I have this, I will never fear this. But when I do not have what buys this, I will always live in fear. I will always live in frustration. Nobody has money and walks to a shop being afraid. Please give me this, give me that, give me this. Okay, uh, do I want this? And people watch you. Your confidence shows that there's something in your pocket. So what must be in your life for you to look at this and say, give me this, add another one, more of this. How much is the house? A million rands. Okay, um, give me this, give me that. This is true riches. Are we together? And I'm going to show you that there are many other currencies we use for exchange. Money is only one of them. If all you buy in your life is paid for with money, you are not very rich. And my prayer tonight is, may you not be so poor that all you have is money. What we are discussing is serious business tonight. True riches. Are we blessed now? So we will discuss very briefly. I won't waste your time and then we'll pray. Dear people of God, the church is a blessing. We are not a cost to society. We are not a nuisance to civilization. It's true. So he says, there is something called true riches. Jesus had it. He walked upon the earth and he had it. That there is something that the moment you carry, you begin to exhibit magnetic properties. You are a human being, but something that is in you and on you begins to exhibit properties that is akin to a magnet. And suddenly you find out that you can lay up gold as dust. Your life becomes an epistle of wonder. And people look at you and say, no, no, I know you. I mean, you grew up there in that street and you say it's true. But in my growth process, I came across a body of truth. And I submitted myself to that truth. And this is what it has made me become. You fear success when you don't know how it came. Fear is proof that there is no mastery. Are we together? Are we blessed? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. This is for you all three. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, watch this. In this kingdom, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Success was never designed to be pursued already if you seek success you have failed 
please listen don't be offended if i'm a bit harsh is is the depth of my love and my insistence that you get this thing this night are we together now that the moment you find yourself pursuing success you have already failed the first spiritual principle that i want to teach you tonight that the bible calls true riches the capital that buys not only money buys influence are we together now it's called the law of the mind please write it down that in this kingdom you don't make money off a business a business is a reflection of your understanding a business is a report card telling us how your mind is are we together now this is very powerful the bible says genesis 11 please give it to us the law of the mind and let me let me give you a little brief please look up you are going to learn it now it's very powerful that realities watch this realities are first formed in your mind before they are formed in your physical environment please listen to me that the physical environment of a man is akin to a mirror if i'm looking at myself in a mirror and i find a thread on my head do i put my hand into the mirror to remove the thread what do i do i remove it and the guy in the mirror will obey that guy in the mirror is your physical environment and that the reality listen please listen to me attempting to become anything that is not yet captured in your mind is like pulling a rubber ring it will go back it will use a sequence of events that look like coincidences but it is a law are we together now every dimension in life has treasures i'm glad this is called the house of treasures every dimension in life has possibilities and realities attached to it are we together now and that if you have not qualified in your mind and you force your physical environment to reflect that result it will betray you and return you back to where you really belong this is not demon oppression it's a law so everything in this life is built twice first here then here that anything that has already been built here there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to sabotage it come with me the whole earth was of one language and one speech let's hurry verse 2 it came to pass as they journeyed in the east they found a plain in the land of china and dwelt there this is the story of nimrod kush and the building of the tower of babel now tonight we are not arguing about the theological whether it was a physical building or spiritual building you just leave that one we are just discussing the concept now Nimrod Kush says Goto let us make brick now he's doing something to their minds they've not started building he's proposing it's like a manifesto are we together now he's saying let us make bricks he's creating imagery in their minds that's where you get the word imagination the bible says i'm born them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar next verse quickly and they said let us build what a city and a tower whose top may reach unto the heavens and let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad please keep verse 4 watch this in this chapter the holy ghost is not there in this chapter demons are not there in this chapter satan is not there in this chapter redemption had not happened are we together next verse read verse five if you are a christian one two go keep verse five there while they were talking in the realm of the spirit a building was rising and god said who is already building the bible says the lord this is what he was seeing he came down to see a building that was finished they had not started but in the realm of the spirit what their minds were building was finished please understand what i'm telling you now hold on 
if the bible said an angel we can say the angel has fallen from grace but this is the lord yahweh the bible uses his name the lord came down to say who is building whereas on earth the man is just talking to their minds they've not laid one block but in the realm of the spirit is finished could that be why your business has not risen because you are building something that does not have could it be that's why the ministry is not rising because you are attempting to build something physical and in the realm of the spirit there is no substance please sit down sit down we are warming this plane it has to fly high this night now watch this and then the Lord said now she's coming to their realm behold the people is one and they all have la one language and this they begin to do from their realm from the realm of the spirit the house the men build it finished they are about to start what is finished in this kingdom we only execute what is finished if it is not finished you will fail please listen to me hear me so you are in your one room no one knowing you and the Holy Ghost comes to you and says my son you may be in this room but I can take you around the globe and you are saying how I don't have a visa he says leave that I can take your mind let your mind go there it will call your body to follow it that everywhere your mind goes it sustains the intelligence to call your body it will fit all your background it will fit all policies it is a law it's not a suggestion please sit down Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 shilasadu sarasia haskabarunda siata now look up the Bible says now not later now unto him that is able so God's ability is not in question you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or stop ask or help me South Africa ask or if I say sit here or sit here it means either ways carry equal value sit down that means there are two prayer warriors that talk to God your mouth and your mind and that God is able to answer both requests listen sit down listen please listen listen it means your prayer can say Lord lift me and your mind says Lord forget about it the Bible says God is able to answer what kind of prayer requests have your mind raised to heaven could it be that every time you say Lord give me speed your mind says no Lord respect my will keep me where I am the Bible says both of them your asking and your thinking are prayer warriors hear me South Africa this is the mystery behind the sudden rise of people there is nobody who comes out of nowhere just forget about that nonsense while David is in the cave of Adulam his mind this is the excellency of the word of God its ability to paint pictures as you study the word of God you see it have been exalted above all the nations of the earth it's not just some preachers opinion and while you are there you are in the room and you don't even know where the next meal will come from the temptation is to try to fake your reality 
by looking for material things that show you have gone out of that realm here is an honest advice from someone who loves you passionately it's a total waste of time why fake what can be real are we together it's like going to steal something and finding out it's yours <laughs> look how foolish you are going to feel listen 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 ceos men of god women of god all started most of them from a standpoint of disadvantage however when the holy ghost came to them he told them trust me i'm about to take you on a journey where is the visa where is the influence and he says follow me and i will make you follow me is god speaking to us tonight and you follow foolishly while you are walking with him the word of god is transiting your understanding there's no food yet i know things are not working yes i know we look at you and we cannot differentiate between the transited version of you and the prior version it does not yet appear what we shall be like however that transition is happening now let me show you never forget what the illustration i want to show you for the rest of your life please let's hurry up our time is gone eight people come gentlemen four of you stand here four of you stand it's okay um, eight only just four of you stand here just stand looking at me four of you <laughs> south africa i love you trust me hold on all right you stand here watch this blessed be the name of the lord please stand sir what do i do with this man now <laughs> hallelujah you stand up here sir or, or you just come here don't mind all the drama i'm acting now it is so that you will never forget you stand here just just look at me you stand here you stand here right so you with him you with him you with him now watch this so i uh, let me find something for you watch this can you space yourselves a little now please it looks like we're acting but this is your destiny pay attention the way god designed life is that for every realm you get into there are possibilities in that realm there is a realm that is impossible to get to and not be a millionaire it's impossible the law of god's justice does not allow you to be in that realm broke watch this how many if you see your man of god now are we together now you see your man of god trying to lose the tire of his car the realm he's in does not allow him to do that when you are there it's not pride you are compelled by reason of his growth to collect it and do it for him there is a realm where you will never fly economy again now it's not just some economy business when no matter how humble you are it is the implication listen so watch this all of this call them realms level one level two level three now watch this maybe for instance the breakthrough you want hold it and lift it up is in level three and this is where you are now this is how we fake our lives you quickly try to manipulate your way and get this the law will take you back to where you are because you did not get it by growth I show you the mystery behind the balloon success of people up today down tomorrow it's not just an attack we violate principles watch this this young man is about to be a sign and a wonder and you start right here from your one room this is the nation these are levels now guys this is what i want you to do for every step i take you to move are you together now watch this let me show you how success comes success is a product of who you are becoming not just what you are doing it is first being 
before doing business people hear me it is more than doing it is being before doing so you are here the holy ghost comes to you you are praying in the name of jesus the power of the holy ghost is at work in me while you are watching those videos in the night using your phone you don't even have enough recharge this is what you are doing you are growing listen imagine the burden of looking for all these things one by one the system of god saved you that stress media popularity no leave all those things watch this somewhere in this equation is your business class your private jet somewhere here is your house your mall don't be concerned about those there is a system design that as you grow creation responds please find a way of believing what i teach you tonight take it higher for me so i'm here lord you have called me to be a great businessman in south africa you've called me to be a prophet and an apostle i don't even have an idea on how growth should happen i don't have any helper but one thing i know is that my mind is not just some scientific metaphysical thing no so the word of god is coming check it no you are moving too far slowly right i mean just don't take wide steps because he has a long journey watch this excel 2016 2017 now watch this by 2018 some results start coming because you have now come to a level watch this it may not be much someone can give you 10 runs 100 runs it is only a report card that you are making progress it may not do you much hear me you're a businessman at this level someone notices what you are doing kings do not come to your light so don't expect them to come at this level they will not patronize your restaurant at this level but it does not mean they are not in the equation of your success you just started the business so it is not lack of faith when it's shaking here and there it is a law your determination as your mind keeps growing you can take a bus from one region to the other whereas the airports are there do it with honor because you will miss those days very soon are we blessed then you get to a level where it becomes very frequent 10 10 runs 100 100 runs not more but they are frequent now you have stabilized in this realm but it's time to grow at this level as a preacher someone says come and lead a little prayer group don't feel insulted and say in my vision i saw cathedrals and stadiums god did not lie but you are still on your way coming so joseph is in the house of potiphar he's not there yet but he's also not there i'm showing you where you are now listen to me because satan is the master of the flesh realm he will come and say in four years oh dear businessman you started your telecoms company everything crashed i mean your 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 reach is so small and sometimes you are tempted you are you are a whatever it is maybe maybe you 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 dress like like that my my dear um a wonderful friend there you dress people and you do this and your god has shown you kings but at this level you are rising moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found now let me tell you where we miss it you look at yourself and then you watch someone on tv who you think you are better than and you say no 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 i shouldn't be at this level i will promote myself now let me tell you the disaster because of the power of your will you will come here but you will find out that you have not been taught the ability to walk in the palace growth did not mentor you to know how to stand before kings 
so you come to pharaoh without shaving your beard because if you grew somewhere in your growth process you will be taught the ethics of increase hear me don't don't pity people too much that you push them unnecessarily let them grow thank you are we together now thank you let them grow sometimes we love people too much in we think we are accelerating seasons whereas we are opening them watch this i always give this analogy you see how clean this handkerchief is now respectfully speaking you can see someone maybe whom all these people that just do things at the road and tell him i give you a gift in two weeks this handkerchief will change color the handkerchief is responding to his mind you held this handkerchief for one year it still remain white because the excellence in your mind is what is captured here now have you given your dress to someone a dress that you wore for one year and now he's wearing it for two months and you can't identify it again it's not the dress it's the mind listen there are people who buy cars that their minds and their levels should not have and they never get blessed you sit in that car and you know it's illegal you feel it everything around because the supporting systems you cannot have a car that size and yet not have the relationships to defend that results if you grew together with your results there would be strategic connections that will justify your remaining in that realm hear me god is speaking to someone it is true you are a champion but you may need to return to grow well some of you need to start this journey with honor it is true you are a prophet to the nations but running around and asking people to invite you is proof you are not there watch this neither do men light a lamp the system of god already sorted your being seen just grow listen i don't care what your background is if you grow the light that comes from your growth will draw any nation and anybody to you it is true listen you will thank me for what you are hearing tonight because the next time God grants us the grace to see when you see the tomorrow version of you you will look at yesterday and say no this is not true you mean that was me listen time does not change anything tomorrow things will change is nonsense time only reveals you grow when your mind grows i'm reading the books i'm learning holy spirit i believe you conferences start coming gradually one day as you grow listen at this level you should not be without a car and the moment you step into this level the justice system of god will talk to someone across the earth someone will have to give you a car because at this level of growth Listen, the church is 50 members. You don't need five bosses, no. There is a level that if you grow, that size of the church, that influence in ministry makes it impossible to not have certain things. It's not pride. So rejoice not over me, my enemies. Just give me time. I know that when I was invited to a church, you would be saying in Johannesburg, I'm a prophet, but every name I called was not it. You are John. He said, no, 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 I'm not John. I'm Joseph. You have three people. He said, no, we are five in our family. And at the end of it, you feel stupid. You live as if you just finished from a funeral. Let me tell you, you will need that experience to mentor the people who you will have. 
Hear me. Run away from people who don't have scars. They are dangerous. Let no man trouble me. I went to the school of the spirit. Let no man trouble me. Listen. This is you. You didn't know that at this level there is harsh criticism that comes. So while you want to rush and say, Lord, bring me here, God is saying, You are not ready. Mr. Man, build capacity. So that the day someone comes to antagonize your business, you have built stamina and you know. <laughs> This is the realm where veterans are. Come. Come, guys. Steal anything from them. They have drawn it too close. It won't go far. This is the realm where they can leave their house with no money. And before they get to the mall, something has happened. Their growth does not allow them to be embarrassed. Please go back. Let's act it one more time. My God. Please go back again. Business people hear me. Men of God hear me. Let me tell you this. Once upon a time in my life. It was difficult for me. To have the convenience. To even buy. And eat as I would want to eat. I, I come from a wonderful family. I'm sure they are watching now from Nigeria. Lovely people. I love them with all my heart but that was the reality and I knew trying to fake prosperity would be a waste because the same energy it takes to fake is what it takes to be real so I'm not going to be involved in that stupid venture of faking my life and after five years I discovered that I'm not there now watch this right when I was here I knew that a day will come the blessed will call me blessed this was where the visions came I saw the nations from where I was I knew that a day would come the two leaf gates of nations will be opened I didn't know how but I knew that this was two riches the capital that buys influence the capital that buys relevance the capital that conquers the cosmos today I look at my life and all I can say is be glorified Galatians 1 24 has become a reality in my life and they glorified God in me I wish I had time for us to walk this. This is just one of it. I'm giving you alone. Do business without this. You will only have a plethora of failed businesses. While I was here, the Holy Ghost came and said, give me your mind. Follow me. And I stupidly followed. One step after the other. He promised that the nations would open. He promised that the blessed would call me blessed. He promised. I believed him. Watch this. Please go back. You have one shirt and one trouser. Go to the boutique here. Go to the car stand here. Visit the airport here. Shake kings here. Build the church here. When you build the church, the Holy Ghost will start bringing them to you. Listen, when he was teaching me, I did not know you. Yet, today, he's brought us together. The same way, the clients that will lift you, you do not yet know where they are. Look for them here. They never get missing here. South Africa is too large to find them one by one. Save yourself that stress. 
I'm not saying marketing is wrong with respect to the mind and one day you will sit back and watch kings come they will queue up in front of your mall and you will say I have only heard that God lifts but now my life is a testimony when apostle was starting this ministry you were still in South Africa but you were not yet here he called you from the spirit here and today you are here even if you as big and large as you are you were still drawn by the power of the mind what will stop money from coming to you now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundant above all we ask or think i found the key here and so i went to the crusades here i healed the sick here i lifted the wheelchairs here i raised the dead here i experienced the ministry of the holy ghost here and inevitably i'm comforting someone so that after service you will run back home and say i found the key they call you and say look let's try to i'm coming growth has already sorted me Let, let's try to lobby for a media interview is unnecessary there is a place in your growth where they will come running with cameras and say give us an opportunity to at least talk to you lay your hands on your mind and begin to prophesy in one minute decree and declare spirit of the living god breathe upon my mind salando salabrakatoziata let your word create the pictures of a future that is enviable take my eyes away from my background grant me access to light hallelujah praise the lord god bless you our time is gone i can only give us one more oh dear you see why it takes time to grow many times when you are tired is proof that what is coming is not powerful because when the truth is powerful and is changing you your desire for more because you will be you would have been tired of wasting your time and you're saying look it's worth it instead of recycling one year of pain let me understand what i'm doing now true riches can i give you number two the second one that buys favor or buys buys money influence growth is called favor write it down the first thing i want to tell you please um whatever i share here just listen to them and 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 build on them and grow and um sometimes my teachings can be controversial but i say it with an open heart and to help you i'm saying that because of what i want to tell you favor is the next of the true riches that i want to teach you the major reason why we do not get favor in the body of christ is because we teach that it is unmerited <laughs> if i ask you define favor you say unmerited access you are right but you are wrong very wrong now i said you are right because it depends on the context it was taught it is the manifestation of favor that looks effortless there is a science to favor first if it happened only once it is not favor it is breakthrough the proof that it is favor is that it must be repeated regardless the circumstances 
Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. You will know right now whether or not favor is working in your life. I want you to read it. Exodus 3 21. 1, 2, read please. Uh huh. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that favor is not in your life. I will give you favor. Now, I don't have all the time to do detailed teachings on favor. But let me tell you this. Please look. The Bible says, I will give you favor in the sight. That means favor works with the power of sight. Notice, every time the Bible talks about favor, the Bible talks about the eyes. When favor is on you, real favor, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man. Provided they can see you. That charm-like manifestation is what the Bible calls favor. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. I'm rushing, forgive me. Esther 2, 15. The last sentence. Esther 2, 15. From the last full stop. Ready to read? One, two, read. And Esther obtained favor in the of all them that looked upon her. When the grace for favor is on you, I'm passing and I look at you and suddenly the grace works. The grace works the moment sight is true. Please believe me. I know what I'm saying. That you watch someone and suddenly there is an urge to give, to sow, and to do it with joy. It's, it's favor. In the sight of all them, that looked upon her if everybody who looks upon you in a day blesses you will you really be poor if everybody that looks at your business because favor can come on your business as an entity it can come on your ministry so someone is passing and doesn't know why he feels like just coming to sit down that is your deacon another person comes to sit down that is the greatest financier in your ministry favor Favor makes men to exhibit magnetic properties. It has nothing to do with your nationality. It has nothing to do with gender. has nothing to do with age. These are spiritual realities that buy physical things. Verse 17. We're about to pray. And the king. Look up please. Let me show you how real favor worked. Ready to read? Please read with me again. And the king loved Esther above hold on that's favor before esther came he or some other women were in the list but as soon as hadassah showed up he loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than more than if the king were looking at you and esther passed forget it it's over if they are looking at another business and yours passes, it's over. It's not about competition and fighting. It's, these are systems of advantage in the kingdom. This is the excellency of the supernatural life. Even the king. And then favor always puts a royal crown on your head. Favor. Favor. I think it's Proverbs 13, 15. Let's check it out. If I'm wrong, we'll just continue. But I think it is. Proverbs 13 and verse 15. Read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Leave that scripture there. The Bible talks about two mothers pregnant with children. The first mother is called good understanding. And that she can be pregnant and the name of the child she gives birth to is called favor and that transgression a transgressor is not a sinner he's a violator of ordinances and principles you can even be a believer that a transgressor is also like a pregnant woman she can get pregnant and when she gives birth the name of her child is hardship hardship has an explanation 
That's why I told you favor is merited. Good understanding like you are having now. There are systems when you engage, you will program favor. There are keys. Praise the Lord. Favor is very powerful. Show me the money that entered from your salary and show me the one that came from favor. Can you tell the difference? In the afternoon, when we were done, I was about to enter the car. And then I'm looking at this little girl. And then suddenly, I just love this little girl and I call her and I hug her. Why was it not you? It's not because you are an adult. <laughs> not necessarily. Because in this conference, what I'm talking about must come upon you. Must come upon you. A man who looks at you every day and does not bless you, suddenly after this conference, you're on your way home. And he says, are you the one looking for a job? You say yes he says have i attended to you the moment that happens just know you have obtained the capital that buys influence the capital that buys money listen the proof that favor is on you is not money the proof that favor is on you is the loyalty of men When I came in, I appreciate all of you for loving me so much. For many of you have not seen you. But what made you love me that much? This is what I want to come upon you. Amen. Apostle is because of the location of my business. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He climbed the mountain and a crowd came. He went by the riverside and the crowd came. Please hear me because things will shift in your business. Things will shift in your life. Shift in your ministry. Favor. Favor. Parus Favor is a real grace. Listen, I took one month of my life to pray for favor. I have not done you justice by teaching you all the principles that make for favor. But there are. But I will just tell you one as we wrap up. It's called the Esther anointing. Hmm. Esther chapter 2 again. Please give us verse 15. Now please listen to me. We're about to pray. Something must come upon you. There is a call because Vashti is thrown from the throne and that call gets to Shushan and they gather young virgins, prospective brides for the king. And here comes this village girl from somewhere in South Africa called Hadassah and she's trying her chance. Mordecai encourages her. Watch this. And then the Bible says, that now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go to see the king. Watch this. She required nothing but what Haggai, who was playing the role of the Holy Spirit, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. The Bible says, when you read the preceding verses, it says that... He gave her oil. Go to 16. Oh dear. I think it was uh, maybe the 14 or so. There was an ointment that she rubbed for one year to see the king. Other women were learning how to walk. Wonderful. Learning how to talk. Wonderful. But hey guy said, I know the king. The spirit. No man knows the things of a man except the spirit of that man hey guys said i have walked with the king i know what he wants let me give you a kind of oil that you will keep rubbing for one year when one year is done 
go to the king. Thou anointed my head with oil. Hold on. But I know what is on my head by looking at my cup. He does not anoint my cup. My cup is a report card showing what is on my head. Thou anointed my head with oil. My ministry run it over. Thou anointed my head with oil. My business run it over. Listen to me. What is on you is what controls what is around you. It is true. It is true. You can know what has come upon you by looking at the new experiences that are introduced into your space. Favor is powerful. It is the number one reason we succeed in life. You can have all the products and because we didn't have time to deal up on value and other things, hopefully we may touch a bit on it as we wrap up tomorrow. But let me tell you this. I'm looking for what is applicable to everyone. Something you can go out with tonight and say, I came to church without it, but now I am returning with it. That in one week, by Sunday next week, you return back to church on your knees and say, what is this? What is this? Hallelujah. Listen now. Listen. I don't mean to brag, but I can tell you, my life is an unending wonder of what people do for me. People have seen my account number in their dreams and have been instructed to continue to bless me for the rest of my life. I don't know them. People have called me and said the Lord instructed us to make you a non-executive board member in our business. Your spiritual value is all we want. Just give us your account number. I said, what is the meaning of this? I apologize if it looks like I'm bragging. Forgive me. My table is full of landed properties. I've never gone there to even see what is there. Three years ago, three kings came together and God just opened a door and they gave me 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. Listen, please hear me. I'm not here to psych you. There is a real grace that lifts men. Your man of God and his wife, the apostles and the men of God here, are testaments. Occultists know this. They continue to sell and do everything, but behind the scenes they know that it is what is on you that controls what is around you. Listen, in this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. Hear me? I came into your city and I am humbled by the gifts and the seeds that people have brought already. It is not normal. And it is not because I am Apostle Joshua Selman. It is a grace on your life. Everybody who blesses you has relatives in need. Whatever makes him forget them and comes to you must be of God. Hear me? Everybody on earth is a giver. There's no such thing as stingy people. Right. They just feel you are not worthy to receive their seeds. They will refuse to give you 10,000 rands for something and yet bring 500,000 rands and tell someone else, let it be an honor to give you. They are, are they stingy? Greed is relative to the grace that it responds to. Because even Egyptians can give to the slaves. There is something that comes upon you. When Pharaoh gives to you, you are really anointed.
have to pray. <sighs> hmm. South Africa. The Lord wants to shift us to new levels. Hear me. When God grants us access to these graces, sometimes as men of God, we mismanage these graces in pride. The goal is that it be distributed to the body. When he sends a word to Jacob, it's because he's looking at Israel. Many of you here are veterans in business. Many of you here are men and women of God, music artists, business people, politicians, and all kinds of great people. And like I said in the morning, I'm not here tonight to insult your pedigree. I know that you have sustained intelligence and I respect your experience. But can we, in addition to that which we have received, trust God tonight? Even in heaven, he said, come up hither. There is still room for more. Praise the Lord. And so I want to pray for you right now. We are going to pray. I taught you two things. Your mind and favor that success is not what you pursue is what you attract by who you are becoming and that everything you are looking for is also looking for you the assignment of conferences like this is to accelerate your meeting your house is in South Africa your land is looking for you. I'm here to help you find it. The donkey was also looking for Saul. Saul was looking. It was not just Saul that was missing or the donkey. As far as the donkey was concerned, Saul too was missing. Listen. Listen. Your land has been asking, when will you come? Your clients have been asking, when will you come? You think they are the ones who are delaying. They are saying you are also delaying us. Your members are crying, when will you call us? My assignment tonight is to bring you together. Rise up on your feet. Shalata siyatakata. Lift your voice and begin to pray. It's a new season, truly. What you are looking for is also looking for you. The level that you seek is also seeking for you. The anointing that you seek is also looking for you. Someone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's a new season. House of Treasures. South Africa. It's a new season. You're about to access influence in the place of exchange. This I know. Western shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light Hallelujah. One more prayer point. You're going to cry to the God of heaven. It's time to shift. Lord, the grace for favor, let it rest upon me here and now. Please lift your voice and pray. Let every 
saw the name fade away And every other name fade away Till there's only you And every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Let every other name fade away Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how we're going to do it. I thought I'll be able to pray for the sick this night. Because it's a final night. I know that our time is gone. I came with a heart to really shift you to a level supernatural dimension in the spirit. Come, this fair man, come. Yes. I don't know what you do, but you're about to step into a new dimension. Lift your voice. I release that grace upon you. You, lift your hands. You, this one looking at me, take that grace. Step into a new level in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I want to pray for you now. Bring the lady that shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. We're rounding up. The grace for favor is resting on you. I want to pray that grace. I don't know who you are, but in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that level. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. That lady close to this man, lift your hands, my dear. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the Spirit. By the Spirit. New dimension. Now, I'm seeing a grace that is coming on business people. I'm seeing the number 35. I stretch my hands. Where are they? Right now, take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I'm seeing the number 35. Let it fall on you right now. From the front to the back, the left to the right. Take that grace. I shift your business to a higher dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You are a prophet. I may not call you out because of time. But I'm seeing a strong grace coming on you for the prophetic. Lord, where is that person? Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest now. Rest now. Bring them out. Rest now. Step into new dimensions. Our time is gone. Please bring them out quickly. Quickly. I pray the grace for speed in the morning and the Lord is asking me to pray it again in the name of Jesus South Africa house of treasures I stand by the God of heaven and I prophesy take the grace for speed receive it now receive it now receive it help them please receive it now speed 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 no delay a quick walk speed lift your hands this man take that grace in the name of jesus i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus speed now listen there is a grace that is coming on the women of south africa i want to pray 
the grace that was on Deborah and the grace that was on Esther there is an awakening women of power visions I'm seeing graces and mantles let it fall now I stretch my hands Deborah's arise Esther's arise I prophesy by the spirit of grace an awakening of power in the name of Jesus women of excellence I empower you by the spirit rise in power do exploits rise in power do exploits dimension my friend you level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a gate in the realm of the spirit closed and the Lord is saying I should open it this is a gate representing the next level of someone's life right now in the name of Jesus I speak by the spirit let that gate be open now let that gate be open now in ministry be open now in business be open now career be open now Every man and woman of God in this place, it's time for our ministries to shift to a level. To shift to a level. I stand by the Spirit and I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, the fire and the grace that comes upon you, let it turn you into a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. Let it rest upon you. I stretch my hands. I don't know where the ministers are, but I speak to you. All over this congregation new dimensions new levels of power spiritual illumination understanding and insight in the name of Jesus everything that has died in your life I speak to you by the Spirit of God Talita Kumi arise 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 Shikapokatosiata Embreketeka dead businesses arise dead dreams arise Hallelujah 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 Hear me there are many of you you would have been in certain dimensions now he says I desire to come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us I would have been in government by now but Satan hindered us my business would have been global by now but Satan hindered us in the name of Jesus everything that has refused to be global I give it wings in the spirit rise beyond the limitation of your local environment rise beyond the limitation of your local environment be global be global be global in the name of Jesus the Bible says where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I make you an eternal excellency the joy of many generations the grace for favor that opens you up to the ministry of men that opens you up to the loyalty of men in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I declare take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I pray for your loved ones who are not here 
wherever they are around the globe may the angel of his presence locate them and see to it that this grace rests upon them too hear me all of you who are in the music ministry in the name of jesus i declare songs from the spirit rise to new levels in the spirit those of you who are in government i pray for you may this favor give you a ladder in this nation you will rise to the highest positions in the name of jesus let me speak over your finances He said, by this time, tomorrow. And another foolish man stood and said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, he said, blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. <gasps> South Africa, I love you with all my heart, and God loves you. And it is his desire that in this season, in the midst of what is happening around the nations he wants to isolate your nation and make a spectacle of wonder out of it a spectacle of wonder proof that god is alive proof of the excellency of knowing the holy spirit i speak over your finances i invoke upon you the mystery of divine supplies the raven that brought food for Elijah and fed him at Bucheri, I pray, experience prepared blessings. Experience prepared blessings. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Whatever you have lost, some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost relationships. Some of you have lost influence i pray like the hair of samson here at excel 2020 receive restoration now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy i stand by the god of heaven and i command everything that has left your life that should not have gone return back now opportunities return back now favor return back now the final prayer point tonight hear me listen he said my son give me your heart my son not give me your money not your tithe and offering listen what makes us different from those who are prosperous in the world is our passion and our allegiance that it will never change that even though i rise financially i continue to love him that my prosperity will not make me a fool listen to me what we are advocating is not just resources that come and produce some carnal people who are irresponsible and no 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 this is not what we are advocating please do not confuse what we are teaching here we are people who are disciplined and responsible with a kingdom sense and 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 a vision for national transformation we are not some careless people just doing some religious jamboree our relevance spans beyond the church walls Are we together so it is important that i say this because what is on you now will work but let it not be that when you have built houses apostle and you have done everything you say my power and the might of my hand has given me this but thou shall remember that means you can forget thou shall remember i continue to tell the lord every level of influence and grace you grant me that will not let the nation see you in my life don't take me there it is a sincere prayer please hear this the blessing of the lord does not sponsor carelessness and childishness 
No, we are disciplining people. And if you are not adopt that philosophy, let your life be disciplined enough to enter the palace of kings. Are we together? Don't allow money and prosperity and blessings just make us careless and sometimes we find ourselves doing a lot of things that justifies the accusations that are levied upon the body. We are, we are, we are not people who are, we are not a nuisance to society. The concepts that we teach are not just some spiritual things for Christians. They are concepts that are universal in application because the same Lord is rich unto all. So we communicate concepts that can be adoptable by both believers and unbelievers to the end that all of us lift and glorify the name of the Lord. I'm saying this so that we do not mistake in all of these prophecies as an advocacy to promote lust. No. Your heart. This is how I end tonight. It is true that we have received something that is of substance and it is true that it will speak in our lives. But remember that God must be Alpha, Omega. Not Alpha alone. Don't start with him and throw him somewhere to enjoy the fame. He must be Lord all the way. The Lord of your wealth. The Lord of your influence. The Lord of your excellence. That when men look at you and say, by what mystery do you command this result? You are not ashamed to point them like an usher and say, there is one greater than me. When the spotlight is on you and it looks so enjoyable to not let them see him, remember that in the midst of the lampstand, the attention should be one who was the son of man. The lampstands only attract you, but the object will point the nations to his majesty. Father, we bless you for tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified. I did tell us to come with requests. Did you come with it? Okay. Please, Pastor, can you lend me two minutes? I mean, man of God, please come. Please let me plead with you. All of you, just bring it quickly. Let's pray on it. We have to honor this. We're people of integrity. I apologize. Our time is gone. It is not my intention to keep us longer than necessary. But please, very quickly. Um, you don't have to do this by yourself. Just, just pass it to someone and we're going to pray. Pass it to an, everybody. Just pass it to the last person on your row. Please write what must live your life now and bring it here. We want to pray. Pass it to someone. Pass it to someone. Okay, this is his. What's his? Oh, okay. Those with the seed, maybe maybe you can pass an offering basket. Would that be fine? Or you can just bring everything together. I'll pray on it here. Please, your requests. Just bring them quickly. Want to pray on it? I apologize sincerely. I apologize sincerely, but we have to do this. And very quickly, you can write something down by faith. This is not some ritual. No. Everything we do, we do with understanding. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Exodus 14, 14. It says that the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. Please quickly, let's, let's do this in one minute. You don't have to come with it yourself. You can just pass it to someone who can help you. Maybe that will be faster. While you're doing that, can we just pray in the spirit very quickly? Um, okay, I want to pray on them. Will I have the chance to? Okay, the request, yes. Just, just drop them on the altar very quickly. We want to pray. I have seen the wonder walking power of God from this mystery. Many of you will return with testimonies that will amaze you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And for those of you who are following online, I know that you may not be able to write and send, but you can just type it if you want on any of the social media platforms connecting. And as we pray, the power of God will also reach you. Please clear the way for the, those coming. Let's make it very fast. Please clear the way. Protocol, please help us so that we'll make it fast. I'm seeing a woman who has been trusting God for the foot of the womb. This is, I don't know who that is. You're wearing black. Trusting God for the foot of the womb. It's time.
no you're also stand okay no problem you're here we have to pray hmm. you believe in Jesus you believe you will return back with your children do you believe that I don't care what the medical report is how shall these things be seen that I know not a man God just wants to give this miracle my dear look at me please stand is your husband here we don't have the time don't worry it's okay I want just just you I, I, I'll pray for the rest but just this lady where is her husband husband where are you is he here how are you sir God bless you do you believe that God will turn your story around hold your hands both of you Jesus the power of God never never ceases to marvel me that grace is coming on both of you now I'm seeing that gate opening I release that grace go and return with your children right now it's over I pray for all of you we're just we're just trying to buy time while you're dropping the request but I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray for all of you trusting God for the foot of the womb something is leaving you now I'm seeing a spirit that is responsible for this delay go now out now in the name of Jesus wherefore God had so highly exalted him the Bible says and given him a name my dear look at me be free now I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach be loosed in the name of Jesus for you my dear let it be let it be, be free now in the name of Jesus every one of you I stretch my hands towards you and I pray by the Spirit of God be free now the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you and I speak to you in the name of Jesus like Eli spoke to Anna according to the time of life return with your children in the name of Jesus my dear look at me look at me I pray that you will not have to go through surgery in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let it go now in the name of Jesus never to return to you I bless you all in the name of Jesus go back and return with your testimonies in Jesus name I pray now very quickly please stretch your hands towards the altar we want to pray over this request I'm standing in faith with the apostle over this house and I just want to believe with you father in the name of jesus christ i bow to you the god of all flesh i lay my hands upon these requests in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon these requests in the name of jesus as i'm praying some of you instantly you are going to be receiving answers i lay my hands upon these requests hmm, something is happening in this place I lay my hands upon these requests joining faith with the angel over this house I lay my hands upon these requests in the name of Jesus even the son of the living God I declare to you by the spirit of God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today by the power of the Holy Ghost you will see them no more forever hallelujah somebody celebrate Jesus give Jesus praise if you've been mightily blessed in this house give him praise give him praise give him praise give him praise his word his word Lift up your hands and just give him thanks. Give him thanks. The Bible said, This is the confidence we have in you that when we call according to your will, you hear at us. And if we know that you have heard us, then we have 
what you've asked you for i want you to just as a sign of faith that you have received your blessing i want you to give god thanks please earnestly give him thanks earnestly give him thanks earnestly give him thanks earnestly give him thanks, give him thanks. thank you jesus thank you holy ghost thank you lord thank you lord we bless you lord hallelujah we give you the glory we give you the praise hallelujah hallelujah You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Somebody say. If I had 10,000 tongues, it still wouldn't be enough. Somebody say. When you heal, you heal completely. What shall I render to Jehovah? Sing it out loud. So much. physically it has happened tonight in your mind church I just want you to keep what you have received one of the greatest challenges of believers is to keep what they have received very few people can keep what they receive may the grace to keep what you've received in these past few days May that grace come on you tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. Church, I want you, please, with a good God bless you, let us celebrate his servant. Why don't you celebrate Apostle Joshua, Selma Nehemiah, man of God. <laughs> ah, boy, I'll tell you something. You know, you, while you were standing here ministering, I said to God, you love me and my wife. Really, to connect us to someone like you, it's a rare privilege. I know for you, you don't like to be flattered. I know who you are. I already just sitting all these times, I mean, we sat together this afternoon for almost two hours. I know who you are. But, you know, Paul said, that this grace was given to me even though I was the least apostle um, we know that this was given to you by God this can be I mean we, we were talking and we said to ourselves look we all read Bible man of God I, I got born again at, at 23 I mean I've read Bible for 20, 20, 25 or 26 years now I've read it but the mysteries that God has committed to you is not by just reading Bible. It has to be a grace. And we all appreciate God for that grace on your life. You know, while you were preaching, I said to myself, I'm going to, my, my intercessors are here. They're all sitting in front. And their leader is here. I want you every Every day as you gather for prayer, you must mention Apostle Joshua in your prayers. Put that down. Don't forget. Any day you people gather to pray, you must mention his name fully. Lord, we pray for him. This kind of person, you don't find them in every generation. This kind of people come once in a long while. And it's not because he prayed too much, he did this too much. God just decided I want to put this grace on a man so that this generation can be blessed. Remember, the Bible says that concerning Jacob, that he sent a word into Jacob. It wasn't for Jacob, so that Israel would be lighted. And that's what God has done with the grace upon his life.